Hey there, we're going to be creating a fun, colorful sombrero, a hat from Mexico, using crayons, watercolor, and yarn. Let's get started. So you're going to get a watercolor paper with the hat already outlined, and you will take a black construction paper crayon and outline over the pencil. Notice I'm going very slow and I'm pressing very, very hard because you want this to show up when you put the watercolor paint over it. So just go over it, maybe go over it again, and outline those straight and curved lines nice and carefully. Be very, very neat. You will also be cutting on these lines, so you want it thick so it's easy to cut. So finish outlining. Next, I'm going to use construction paper crayons and pearl crayons to outline or draw designs on there. You can use a combination of angle, straight, and curve lines. I just started taking one color by one and just drawing a bunch of designs. So I started with angle lines. I'm doing curve lines. In this case, it's gonna be a loop-de-loop. -loop. Next, I'm gonna draw some Number threes, they just look fun and cool to draw. Next thing, draw some curve lines, which will be clouds. Another thing I can draw are circles, so you can draw shapes. Then I'm gonna go in, draw some hearts. Those are always fun. Go back, draw some more angle lines. Remember, it's your art. As long as you're drawing different kinds of lines, different kinds of shapes, it's gonna look awesome. go in and color some. Next I used a lime green and go in and draw some swirls. Next go in straight, curved, straight, curved. Just go in and have fun. Think about all the types of lines we've drawn in class. We practice drawing and just go in and draw it. Get another color, draw some lines, curve lines. Decide to change it up, go back to the loop-de-loop. -loop. Gonna go ahead and draw one more curved line and then I'm gonna go in and just add a little bit more to take up some more space felt like there was a little bit too much white space there and I go in and just color those in this is the part where you kind of take a step back look at your art See if there's anything else you need to add before you start painting. That's when I realized I feel like the swirls just need a second color. So I just went in. Now we are ready to paint. You're going to get a watercolor set. You will get a brush and you will pick one color, maybe two at the most. Make sure it's really, really watered well 
So then when you take your brush, it's a nice, vibrant color. And you just go over it. Go up and down. And if you get out of the lines, that's okay. No big deal. You're gonna be cutting that out anyways. When you're painting and the minute you feel like no more paint is coming out of it, that's when you gotta put it back in the water and then pick up more paint. Don't just go directly straight to the paint set you need to dip that brush in water because this paint only works with water that watercolor set dries pretty fast so you have to go back reload your brush with paint all right once that's done make sure you dry or clean your paintbrush set it to the side and now you get your scissors and you cut out your sombrero Cut very carefully, cut very neat. Awesome. Now we're going to make the last part of the sombrero, and that is punching holes at the bottom. So you will probably have your teacher do this for you. And then you're going to get yarn and you're going to loop it through it. So what you need to do is you need to hold it like this and take the part where it's looped, put it through the hole, and then you're going to take these two, pull it through like that. And you do this again. You have a piece of yarn, you bring it together, you put it in the loop, in the hole, and then you have the loop right here. You bring these two and bring it through the hole. Do it again. I actually have one more color. I think I'm gonna add it right here. Perfect. And there you have it, your hat from Mexico, a sombrero, colorful sombrero.